This video shows how to enable or disable the white ink system, using the extra print head slot to boost quality and speed. It is important to remember the following before starting the process. Jobs with white under flood require the movable slot system to be positioned for white under flood, as indicated by the stickers around the carriage. For any other job types using white ink, like the over flood, spot and sandwich modes, the movable slot system must be in its corresponding position, marked with a respective sticker. Please note that when printing without white ink, it is mandatory to use the carriage in color configuration, using an extra color print head in the white slot. The printer will guide you throughout the whole process, so follow the instructions at the IPS. It is important to place any unused print heads in their correct location. White print heads should be placed in the rotating chamber. Color print heads should be placed in the lateral storage box beside the carriage. To know which mode the printer is currently in, check the print heads application. When color is shown, it means the printer is working with colors. When showing configuration, white it means the printer is working with color and white. To move the printer from the color position to the white under flood position, follow these steps. Go to the print heads application and tap the configure button. There are three modes at the configuration menu. The current mode is the one selected. Tap on the one you want to move to. At the IPS a diagram appears in which you can see the final position of the print heads in the selected configuration. Tap on Configure. The IPS now begins guiding you on the needed steps. Follow these instructions to complete the process. Open the carriage cover. Remove the color print head from the carriage and place it on the storage box. Unscrew and push the slot to the end as shown in the IPS. Screw the print head slot back. Remove the white cap from the white tubes at the printer. Place the tubes in white position. Take the white print head from the rotating chamber. and put it in place. Locate the optimizer slot. Unscrew and move it. Screw the optimizer slot back. Move the carriage apart until you can reach the capping station. Repeat the movements done with the slots on the capping station. Close the carriage cover. Tap on finish and check to finish the process. Please note that this process could take up to 10 minutes. Wait until the process concludes on the IPS to resume printing as usual. Each job is queued with the rest of the jobs that share the same movable slot system position. Simply drag what you want to print to the queue, and the printer will place the job by printer mode and substrate in a separate queue automatically. Click the Playlists tab in YouTube to find HP videos in other languages. And search our channel to find official HP support videos.